Hey everybody, it's me, Double D, coming at you with a rant. I gotta get some. As the angry American, I gotta get some crap off my chest. Not safe for kids. This is not a video of reviewing toys. This is some crap. I have a question for y'all. Why do these people in Congress hate America? Why? Now you're probably saying, oh, they don't hate America. They're, they're forcing out their own people because they made a deal with the devil. Really, the Democrats. That's, we're, we're a freaking country. To live, we have to work together. And the right wing and the left wing need to be together to fly this damn bird. But if they're flapping off on their own, then... You know, it's like they're just saying, fuck America. And that's the way it feels to all of us who are actually out here working. Not those rich motherfuckers in Washington. Now, I know there's a lot of mega. Mm, y'all, y'all too far to one side. Just like there's people on too far to the other side. I'm more of a middle guy. Because while I believe in helping other people... I also believe in not being walked all over. And frankly, these 20 dudes are trying to ruin our country. They want us to shut down. Now, if we shut down, we are fucked. Why? Well, I'll be fine. I work for a living. Not just work. I don't depend on the government. But what about y'all out there getting Social Security? You ain't going to get your Social Security. How are you going to pay your bills? You going to end up getting welfare? Now, Social Security is not a government giveaway. We earn that goddamn money. Comes out of the check every week. You ain't going to give it to us. Then you're fucking with our money. That's not allowed. But, you know, the rich people, they just don't give a shit. See, they keep trying to divide us along race, sexual orientation, gender identity, um, everything, language, um, everything. But it's not. It's not that against that. It's the rich against those of us who work for a living. The people who don't make a lot. I mean, I bring home maybe thirty-two grand a year before taxes. I don't make a lot. I pay my bills, but I don't make a lot. Poor people, if they take the money out each week, and then they're just not going to give it back for your Social Security. Like, we don't want to overspend. Well, guess what y'all damn Republicans have been doing for years? How about uh, Star Wars? Yeah, that works. It doesn't. But how many billions fell into that just so you can line your pockets? But don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's all Republicans. Democrats are assholes too. Basically politicians. On both sides just don't give a shit about us. They're not fighting for us. They're fighting for themselves. When's the last time anything actually happened productively in Congress? It didn't. And if you're saying that the Republicans in there, the 20 who can stop the shutdown, isn't responsible, they uh, they turned down a bill from their own party that gave them everything they wanted, just to try to shut down the government. So it's like, but these people want to defund the police. Well, good luck when they can't get no money. We don't want riots. We don't want this, that, and that other. What do you think desperate people are going to do? You ever heard of this little thing called the French Revolution? Do you know who Mrs. Guillotine is? I don't want that. I don't want it to descend into the chaos that we are heading towards. Why do they? Because they're rich. They don't care. Fuck us. And that's the way it has been since politicians have become a career. Too many people in there... They're basically just a bunch of senile old dudes. Look at, was it Mitch McConnell? 
Turtle Man. Halfway through the sentence, he just needs a reboot. Then they're complaining about how old Biden is. Dude, Trump's only a couple years younger. I don't care about either of them. They're both politicians. They're both going to bend us over. But that's not important right now. What's important is keeping our government going. What's going to happen when the troops don't get paid? You think they can afford to support their families without money? They might have to leave. No, not Instead of re-upping when they get the chance, they might have to go into the private sector. Just to be able to keep food on the table. Support the children. That's what we do. We support our families. We don't work for fun. I hate working. I'd love to sit on my butt all day watching TV. But, you know, I got people who depend upon me. For people who don't care, they'll never care. There's 20 in Congress. Well, normally I don't really give a fuck. But when they started marching with actual Nazis, what do you think your grandparents would think? You know, the ones who actually did something. They would spit in your eye. You're a disgrace. If you follow these people, you you might just wipe your ass with the Constitution. Because you don't care. Being American is not just a word. It's not just a phrase. It's a way you need to be. What does that guy say, uh? Don't keep trying to tell me what a good man is and be one. Or a woman. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all gendery there. See, it's just called being polite, kind. They're all getting worked up about these people identify as who the fuck cares? Their lives, let them live. I thought the Republican Party was all for individual rights. Unless it's somebody else's rights, and then fuck them. Again, not all Republicans, just like not all Democrats. We're talking about these wingers. I don't know what else to call them. I apologize to any good Republicans who actually care about our country. But these dudes are bad news. They're going to kill their party. What about the farmers? Are you a farmer? Do you get government subsidies? Are you about to take it up the ass? Yes. Not always a bad thing, but in this case, not a good thing. It's... It's wrong. The people trying to feed us aren't going to get the help they need. And the Republican, this there's 20, I'm going to call them the 20. I'm sorry, I don't want to disrespect Republicans in the general sense. But these 20 are fucking us over. They don't care about America. They don't care about the people. They care about boning us, making their money, and causing chaos. Well, just remember, we can only take so much chaos. Then bad shit starts to happen. I don't want that. I grew up in a very violent area when I was younger. I've, I've woken up to the sound of gunfire. I don't want that again. I personally don't own any firearms at the moment. And, hell, if I could, if I had the money, my ass would be out of this town up in the woods right now. Because shit's heading towards the fan and there ain't nobody trying to deflect it. They also like to call themselves good Christians. Y'all ever read the Bible? You ain't living up to any of the tenets. You're going to hell. Hell, even hell won't want you. You're going to... Fuck, I don't care. You're going to be forgotten to the dust of time. Because you don't care about your people. And it's a different degrees to all, every, all through politics. And there's way too many people eating the shit pie. You see, politicians, they start out, we want to help our fellow man. 
How much money can I get for fucking them over? Let's do that instead. There should be term limits because too many much people are growing too much power. There should be term limits on every public office, including the Supreme Court. They shouldn't be in there for life. Some of them get a little senile, shit go bad. Some people get voted in just on name recognition. That's bad. I think it really should be a law that every American must vote. Have the day off. Go to your polls. Vote. Make your voices heard. When you don't, these 20 get in. And then you're full of assholes. Again, not always a bad thing. But in this case, bad thing. Sorry, my natural sarcastic tendencies tend to creep through. I am truly worried. I don't get worried very often. Not about politics. Fuck them. I hate them. I don't care. I know I have no way to affect policies. I live in the middle of the country. We're flyover territory. Our votes don't matter worth shit. Our politicians don't listen to us. Nobody does. All of us just want to live in peace. Go to work. Pay our bills. Spend time with our families. Raise our children. See our grandchildren smile. How are they going to smile when they're... What's going to happen to schools? If we can't, if they're not getting paid, if I was a teacher, I wouldn't be teaching. Why would you? You got family to feed. You got to get a job where you can do that. And too many greedy corporations, they don't care either. Okay, some things don't go way too far. But it's just insane. I know this is pretty much going to be a rant no one really freaking cares about. Heck, I haven't even thought about running for mayor for this town just so they fix the goddamn roads. Plow with a real plow. Maybe, just maybe, finish pro road projects they start instead of moving on to different ones. That's not important right now. I'm not really angry about that. I'm angry because this country is being held hostage by 20 people in Congress. And no one seems to care. Remember in Star Wars when they said that the re oh, let's see which one episode was it? Is it two or three? The Republican whatever died to applause. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry folks, the battery on my other camera died. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up with my little other my handheld one I use my magnetfish. And just say uh, thank you for letting me get this off my chest I feel better and um, you shouldn't keep this stuff inside when you're angry let it out better for the old heart I mean we're all fucked anyways with Congress about to probably destroy us but don't let stress get to you let it out when it builds up inside that's when you end up with crazy people like those assholes in Congress who probably fucking constipated as hell. And if you live in those districts where these idiots are from, you're also part of the problem. We all hate you. If there is a God, I have no idea, I'm merely immortal. And we stand before him one day and they asked, what did you do? Do you deserve to enter the kingdom of heaven? All y'all doing is, I'm going to make sure I'm there in that thing. I'm going to stand up. No, they don't. They're assholes. They caused us to suffer. Send them to the lake of fire. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to hear more rants by an angry old man. Just not yelling at clouds. I think it's going to rain. 
check out my Instagram for pictures of masks. I'm a mask collector. And uh, thank you again for letting me get this off my chest. And if you are one of those 20, fuck you. If you want to show support, please call your local congressman and tell him we are not happy. Don't end up one of those assholes who do something stupid, though. Don't, don't, don't. Don't sink to their level. I'm not going to say what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Don't do it. Love your country. Be an American. Let your vote sing loud. Don't be an asshole like them. Once they threaten violence, no. Don't get me wrong. They come. I'll plant them. But I don't want to. In fact, we should bring back dueling. Or fighting. Normally when someone was an asshole, you put a fist in their jaw and it was all good after that. You'd go and have drinks. Okay, I was a kid. We went and had Kool-Aid, but stupid fine. You know what I mean. Sorry I'm rambling. I gotta let the camera get a few clicks in before I stop the video or else it won't. It's a crappy camera. I really do need better equipment. I can't afford it. I work for a living. I'm not a member of Congress. You want to vote me into Congress? Vote double D for president. You probably really don't want to do that. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. Allow me to get this stress off my chest. And, uh, it's not going to do any good because no one's actually listening. This camera is really dark now and I know you can't see shit. And I just reached the point where I can finally end the video. And y'all have a nice night. Double D. Oh. Ah, the battery's almost dead on this one too. Why don't batteries hold charges anymore? Is this a conspiracy? No, just shitty tech. Have a nice night. Double D. Out.